Well, two days into the school year, many kids have yet to see the classroom. As NBC 5's Zuri Hoffman tells us, it's been so far so good for some of Vermont's bigger districts. There is a lot of excitement coming from Montpelier High School. This school year looks a lot different than years past. We've had some, a couple of nervous teachers, uh, but now that they're doing what they're born to do, which is teach kids, I think everybody is settling into it right now. Hi. Students will learn in person four days a week with different groups coming in the morning and at night. But each district is doing things differently, something the Vermont NEA has pushed back against. But now that school is back in session, their fingers are crossed for the best outcome. Our members can report being happy to be back in whatever form it is. Districts are also supposed to keep up with cleaning protocols. Many are doing a daily cleaning morning and night with a deep cleaning once a week during remote learning days. It's been one day and reports are still coming in. And our hope is, is that the cleaning procedures um, that have been laid out by administrators um, is accompanied by enough people uh, to, to follow up, follow through. We even have our brand, you know. And to help keep things clean, South Burlington High School is taking things outside as much as possible, with each student having their own chair. This keeps them from sharing desks and declutters classrooms. We're encouraging classes to go outside. We have some tents on campus. We've identified different spaces on campus for each department. And, um, and it just takes one more hurdle out of the way. You know, it's like, just grab a chair, well, let's go outside. Teachers, faculty, and staff getting creative to help tackle this school year successfully. In South Burlington, Zuri Hoffman, NBC5 News.